My boy KP did not deserve to be released. It was I have a today. theory. You have a, you have a theory? I have a theory. So just because it came out of nowhere, basically, I mean, the demotion from commentary didn't seem like it came out of nowhere, but like people, you know, people expected that. And then we're like, okay, he's just going to have a backstage role, or maybe he's just going to go back to like the pre-shows and whatever. My guess is that maybe he wasn't interested in a demotion. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if he kind of wanted to move on. Like, if maybe he he ideally wanted to do commentary and they didn't want to continue with that path. And then he probably maybe felt like, okay, if I'm not going to get the chance now, like, they're never going to give it to me. Mm -hmm. And, like, I really wouldn't be surprised if maybe he just was like, okay, I'm cool with, like, dipping. Because, like, if I'm going to be you know in in the abyss basically like if you don't have a place for me right now then how do i know that you'll ever have a place for me and if i want to do commentary but you're never going to let me then like why am i here like mm -hmm. i really wouldn't be surprised if like he had some say in it because of how ran it's just hard for me to believe that like he's been around for however many years at this point and obviously he's been trying and he's improved and like he's been doing multiple things that they would just demote him and then like two days later fire him it feels like there had to have been something else going on and given how good of a reputation he has and how nice of a guy he is it seems like he might have had a hand in leaving that's my theory anyway that would make sense that i, I do like that because he wasn't terrible I, I'm going to say he was not bad. He was just very vanilla. He did not bring something to the role that they're looking for. He didn't bring that it factor. Go to a place like MLW or, T Impact or TNA now. It's called TNA now. And well, he there. might not want to do wrestling anymore either. And Maybe he wants to get back into sports. Yeah, like he did do Big Ten stuff. He was, uh, he was a big, he had a big role in commentary for the Irish. I don't know if it was Gaelic football or soccer or rugby. It was one of those three uh, sports over there. I looked when we were doing a little bio uh, look up on him. Like he's a very talented person. Wrestling might not be it. It's not for everybody. It really I think isn't. I think part of it is because it's not just like reporting on what's happening. You know, like you have to kind of have a character while you're doing it and obviously that's something that's not going to come easy to most people and I'm not even saying it would for me, so I'm not like hating on him or anything but like it's not just calling the match like you have to have personality and then sometimes you have to take on personality traits uh to portray yourself in a certain way that's not natural for you or who you are and he also was put into like a tough position because they put him on commentary and then immediately were like okay you're the guy like you are the michael cole on smackdown now which that's a lot you know like it's not like I understand why Graves is more like the color commentator, you know, and not the lead guy, but like it might have worked better had they switched roles, like had Graves maybe taken on the lead uh, voice as opposed to uh, Kevin Patrick, because maybe that would have worked better because Graves has been doing this for years now. So it's almost like I don't know if they set him up to fail or if they were just banking on his previous experience, but I think that probably just talking about sports where you can just be yourself and you don't have to worry about how you sound really that's probably more his alley yeah and Vanessa Loca here every wrestling fan got their wish about Ken Kevin Patrick and I wouldn't say it's their wish but they they were uh, booing him and rash trashing him on uh, social media every week yeah. for no reason and they listened like you you got what you wish you did get what you wish for at the end of the day there were a lot of them yeah like i saw a lot of people celebrating it and i felt bad because i was a part of that conversation this week but i never said i wanted him fired so like no I just yeah felt, we 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 said we didn't want him fired yeah i just felt bad that i was a part of any of the negativity like it was just a co pure coincidence that i just was like oh this you know that I felt like he wasn't good. And then we just talked about it when we were talking about SmackDown and then all of this happened. Like, obviously I don't have any inside information, so I didn't know this was going to happen. So I didn't plan it, but um, yeah, I, I, I saw people who were, you know, ha 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 ha. But then there were actually a lot of people that were like, we didn't want him on commentary, but we didn't want him fired. I saw a lot of that. I yeah. Saw a and, lot of that. Yeah. So that's why I'm thinking that maybe he had more, 
like a, a say in this happening which if that's the case and i applaud him for like chasing what he wants to do and wanting better for himself because there are plenty of people in wwe whether they're a wrestler or a backstage interviewer or whatever and they'll be sitting and catering for months and months and months until they're ultimately released because it's like okay we don't have anything for you blah 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 and that might have been his future you know what i mean so it's like you see that we know about it you know like watching certain wrestlers that aren't around or on tv it's like okay you know they're there they're just not being used and mm -hmm. that could have been his future and he was like i don't want that i'd rather just move on now go start my career somewhere else and get that going and i i hope that's the case because it would really suck if he was just outright fired basically yeah, that would suck no, yeah that would, that would suck i i just hate to see it you know yeah because he was such a he was a really nice guy but mm -hmm. that's it just wasn't a fit that's all, that's all. It, it was not a fit at the end at of least the day. not now and that's the thing too is like we were saying like he's he wasn't he didn't feel ready right now but yeah. it is possible too because like it sucks and that's the thing too in life where it's like you can want something so bad you can you can work hard at something and do it as you know feel like you're doing the best of your abilities and blah 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 and it's just like it's not for you like you're just not a good fit for that no matter how much you want it or how much you've dreamt of it and it's like a really harsh reality because you know maybe it's something you've dreamt about forever and then you just realize like okay actually i'm not like i'm not meant for this and that could be this case too like maybe he just would really never be good on commentary and like it that's just the unfortunate truth for him i don't know like we're not there you know to like know what they're saying or what their criticisms of him are we know what ours were but mm. um based on who they have on commentary it feels like this wasn't a mistake because obviously they have some pretty legendary commentators um but yeah i hope that he gets to do what he wants to do and like thrive doing whatever he wants mm -hmm. to do because he deserves that 